Welcome to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we have one very interesting question from exponential equations. It is 49 over 16 power x plus 49 over 32 power x plus 49 over 64 power x equal to 1 over 2 power x plus 1 over 32 power x plus 1 over 64 power x. And we have to find out real solutions only. So let's get it started by taking 49 common from the LHS. So I can write 49 times 1 over 16 power x plus 1 over 32 power x plus 1 over 64 power x equal to 1 over 2 power x plus 1 over 32 power x plus 1 over 64 power x. Now I will multiply both sides by 64 power x as it is non-zero. So let me write here 64 power x this side. So I will write this side also 64 power x where 64 power x cannot be zero. Now let's multiply this 64 power x into the bracket. So we can write LHS as 49 times it will become in the bracket 64 power x over 16 power x plus 64 power x over 32 power x plus 64 power x divided by 64 power x equal to same task in RHS also 64 power x over 2 power x plus 64 power x over 32 power x plus 64 power x over 64 power x. Using exponential property, we can write 64 power x over 16 power x as 64 over 16 full power x. Plus 64 over 32 whole power x plus 64 over 64. So it will become 1. RHS we can write 64 over 2 whole power x plus 64 over 32 whole power x plus 1. Using property of exponentials, it is, I will write a over b whole power x. Anytime it is a power x over b power x. Now I will write left hand side 49 times 4 power x plus 2 power x plus 1 equal to 32 power x plus 2 power x plus 1. Let us write. So this will become 49 times 4 power x plus 2 power x plus 1 equal to 32 power x plus 2 power x plus 1. Now I can write 4 as 2 square, 32 as 2 power 5. So 49 times. 4 we can write it is 2 a square whole power x plus 2 power x plus 1 RHS 2 power 5 whole power x plus 2 power x plus 1. Now using property of exponents we can write a power b whole power c equal to a power b times c or a power c whole power b. So we will swap these two numbers 2 and x. Similarly, I will swap 5 and x. Let us do that 49 times. It will become 2 power x whole square plus 2 power x plus 1 
RHS we can write 2 power x whole power 5 plus 2 power x plus 1. Now substitution time. 2 power x let us call a. So our equation will convert into variable a. So 49 times I will write a square plus a plus 1. RHS will be a power 5 plus a plus 1. Let me rewrite here. a power 5 plus a plus 1 equal to 49 times. It will become a square plus a plus 1. Now I will consider our LHS separately. Let us factorize if possible. So I can write this side here. So a power 5. Now I will add and subtract a square. And then a plus 1 as it is. Now from these two I will take a square common. So in bracket there will be a cube minus 1 left. And remaining terms as it is. Now I will apply a cube minus b cube identity or formula a square a minus 1 a square plus a plus 1. Then we have got the same bracket a square plus a plus 1. Now we can take a square plus a plus 1 common. So in bracket we can write a square a minus 1 from first term position and from second term I will be having only 1. Now I can write a square plus a plus 1 times a cube minus a square plus 1. And you can see RHS is also having the same factor which we factorize our LHS. So I will write our LHS as the product of these two brackets, these two, and RHS will be 49 times a square plus a plus 1. Let's rewrite here. I will write a square plus a plus 1 times a cube minus a square plus 1 equal to 49 times a square plus a plus 1. Take all the term to LHS. So I will be writing a square plus a plus 1 times a cube minus a square plus 1 minus 49 times a square plus a plus 1. Now RHS will be 0. Now these two brackets are common. So I will take a square plus a plus 1. Overall common. So in bracket I can write a cube minus a square plus 1 and then minus 49. RHS is 0. Further I can write a square plus a plus 1 and in second bracket a cube minus a square minus 48 equal to 0. Product is equal to 0 so we can conclude from here either a square plus a plus 1 equal to 0 first equation and from here we will write our equation second a cube minus a square minus 48 equal to 0. So we will solve these two equations. Let's solve one by one. I will write here a square plus a plus 1 equal to 0. Let us solve applying quadratic formula. So I can write a equal to minus b so minus 1 plus minus under the root b square so 
1 square is 1 minus 4 times 1 times C divided by 2A. So it will become minus 1 plus minus square root 1 minus 4 divided by 2. Now we know that the square root of minus 1 is i, complex number. So minus 1 plus minus the square root of minus 3 divided by 2. Complex solution is about to come i times the square root 3 divided by 2. So it is complex, so we will reject it as we are looking for real solutions. Now I will consider our second equation. This was a cube minus a square minus 48 equal to 0. Now I will write a cube minus a square minus 64 plus 16. Now I can write a cube minus 64 here and minus a square plus 16 I will be writing here. Now I can write it is a cube minus 4 cube and once I will take minus common then it will be in the bracket a square minus 4 square. Now we have two formulas waiting for us a cube minus b cube a square minus b square. Let us apply it. So a minus b in one bracket a square plus a b plus b square. Here I will apply difference of two squares. So it is a plus 4 times a minus 4 equal to 0. a minus 4 is overall common. Let us take a minus 4 out. So in bracket I will be writing a square plus 4a plus 16 minus a plus 4 or minus a minus 4 equal to 0. So I can write further a minus 4 times a square plus 3a plus 12 equal to 0. Now from here I can conclude two equations. First equation will be from a minus 4 equal to 0. From here we will be having a equal to 4. One real solution. And a was our substitution. a was 2 power x. I will put once I will solve this second quadratic equation. Now a square plus 3a plus 12 will be 0. So a square plus 3a plus 12 equal to 0. Let's check discriminant this time. So delta or d we can write b square minus 4ac. 4ac. b is 3. So b square will be 9 minus 4 times a is 1, c is 12. So I can write 9 minus 48, which is equal to negative 39. Because of discriminant negative, complex solutions will come out, rejected solution. Now which solution we will accept? It is a is equal to 4. Now a was our substitution, it was 2 power x equal to 4. So 4 I can write it is 2 square. Now comparing both sides, if base is same, then its exponent must be equal to each other. So I will write x is equal to 2 is only real solution possible for this exponential equation. I hope you will like this video friends. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.